And the first thing I've noticed is that time is moving much slower than normal. I think it is funny because there is always that phrase, you know, life is short. And like, my question is, yeah, would it be short if you were asked to sit and watch a tree grow for the entirety of it? Would you think life was short? Basically, it just feels like, you know, you can watch a video for 20 minutes or you can scroll on your phone for half an hour and it can seem like absolutely nothing. But when you sit and you do something that, you know, um, feeds your soul, I guess, in some way, shape or form, or when you just relax or when you simply be, then I think time moves at a much, it feels like it moves at a much slower rate anyway. I'm feeling well content because I've got this like oniony kind of like soupy thing in this cup. And I'm just like, life is sweet. Like I'm sitting here gazing out at nature, listening to the sounds with a cup of soup. Like, seriously, that is, that is like bliss. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I don't know why I feel so good. I feel so content with this cup. I don't know how I feel when it runs out. Because remember, I am like a happy person when I've got food around me or something to eat or something to drink or something to nibble on. So... I'll just end up doing the things that you know the things that you want to do but you don't do yeah and you don't do them because you're normally on the internet or chatting hot babes online time is moving slower is the main thing I'm gonna dumb this soup drink this soup eat this soup and, and chill for a bit really and then and then move on to some other things yeah guys so I've been just getting on with some stuff reading like it's still early it's like I feel like <laughs> like I'm doing nothing yet achieving so damn much I'm actually actually feel like I'm slowly solving my own problems like at the moment you know like a part of life that is a challenge for me is the change in my relationship this is why I'm where I am now and I kind of walked away from that relationship feeling like I literally needed to close the door and not go back into that door because like something needs to happen inside of me before I can go back to that previous experience essentially because if I look at it with the same eyes it's going to have the same problems and so I need to develop a whole new way of being I can wind up in old patterns and old behaviors but it contradicts this whole new thing that I'm trying to to do um and and so basically anyway I just kind of figured out the solution to my problem any real way like and and that I can work work through this challenge of mine is by um, literally just actually bringing structure into my relationship unfortunately because you know working on structure is not always fun but sometimes it's just necessary in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve you know when it came to healing my knee injury I had to stick to a plan and I had to be thorough with that plan and I had to like go for it and if it means enough to me then I, I can stick to it I'm, I'm solving my own problems uh, in this in this disconnection Okay guys, it is time for me to go to bed. It is time for me to go to bed. I'm feeling like, you know, actually I've really struggled to get to bed lately. Not because I'm not tired, but just because I have not been wanting to go to bed. I think that fan is probably really loud. <sighs> I've been struggling to go to bed lately, not because I'm not tired, but because I just don't want to go to bed like I'm like you know I want to I don't even know what like watching Spartacus on Netflix you know like I get into bed but like I'll be in I'll end up watching the episodes you know um and before you know it two three hours has gone and it's midnight and typically I've always been in bed like and asleep by sort of 10 o'clock because I've always been an early riser I've had to be because of my jobs and I prefer getting up early so it's a bit annoying when I get to bed that late because I miss my favourite part of the day. So yeah, let's just see how the sleep goes. I don't know what time I'm going to wake up because I never set an alarm. Um, but my body always wakes me up at about six, regardless. And then I snooze for longer because I've been going to bed later. But let's just see what happens. Um, I'm going to bed and yeah, I'm happy to get to bed this early. So good night. Good morning. 
I'm happy because I woke up right on six o'clock and so I'm here, it's about 6.20 I think, ready to do my workout at this place. I need that pole. I've got my log book. Always log your workouts. I always log my workouts um, so that I can improve and so that I'm always knowing what I'm doing um, so that I can get the result I want. So uh, anyway, with that being said, I'm doing something that I want to do. My sleep wasn't great at the start, but yeah, I'm going to get this workout done. It is something like four o'clock and well, to be honest, I'm feeling tired now. I just ate a really big meal. Been up for like maybe nearly 10 hours because I got up at six, now four, something like that, 10 hours. And suddenly I feel tired. And obviously because I ate as well, I think that just starts to make you feel tired as your body begins to process food. I was gonna make a coffee and then I was like, Nah, I don't have a coffee as a pick-me-up. Why don't you just listen to your body, go have a little nap. I'm trying the old, I'm gonna try an old siesta. So, um, I know it's not one or two o'clock, but still. So anyway, let's get this nap done. So it is 7 p.m. and this is it, like, this is the final evening of my time offline. And to be honest, like, when it sort of got to like maybe five o'clock today after my nap was when I really I guess started to hit what felt like I don't know boredom or like what felt like I guess the interesting part of it because you know at first you know for the first couple of days you're like oh I'm, I'm gonna do all these things that like I haven't done that I've been meaning to do and and you know that's like really cool like so you actually get like a lot of stuff done and you're kind of not bored at all but then let me get some more light here I'm gonna stop doing that. I almost started feeling like I was having withdrawal symptoms from the internet while I was like sitting there like damn I wish I could watch some like videos on YouTube right now like not even like anything of purpose just like you know, that, that sort of habit of like, just, I don't know, entertaining yourself or something. I ended up just sitting almost like observing my mind and like what was going through it, just kind of paying attention to that. I feel like I could like probably feel more benefits if I were to like, if I were to keep going with it and do it for a little bit longer, because I think then I would face yeah just like I guess a deeper aspect of the void or you know just the void a little bit more so I have managed to keep myself entertained I ended up you know after that bout of boredom writing but I'd class myself not necessarily as an introvert but as an extroverted introvert I definitely like don't do a lot of socializing wondering like if it wasn't for the internet would I be more social because you know we don't really need to go out these days really do you know what I mean like a lot of people are happy just with the internet and, and socializing online like it's called social media for a reason I figure I am thankful for the internet it does allow me to stay in contact with certain people um but yeah I mean I'm definitely going to incorporate this into my life two days offline in a row um it it was really good for actually just getting the stuff done that I want to be working on. Uh, I do think that I will want to try it for a little bit longer just to sort of see what happens once I get over the tattoo in myself, once I get over the, well I don't know, will I get over the reading? I'm not sure, I might just power through reading. It's seven o'clock now so I'll probably just chill for a bit. I think I've uh, used my brain a lot today with the reading I've done and the writing um, and just sort of see where life takes me. I'll probably end up doing something <laughs> like after laying there thinking for a bit or just looking for a bit so yeah we shall see